Micah and Cher, there's still no word on when this strike will be over. Tonight's meeting was to update members. It wasn't with the other side and union members that I spoke with tonight say they're more pumped up, more fired up than ever before. Tonight, a closed door briefing for Riders Guild members at an L.A. landmark, the Shrine Auditorium. A stream of people seen leaving, but still fully committed to their cause. The spirit of the whole event was just really um, what we needed just as a as a union, as a group, um, and realizing how many of our lives are interconnected by this fight. Hey, hey, hello. Earlier, a rallying cry in front of major Hollywood studios. More than 11,000 TV and movie writers on the picket lines for a second straight day. Writers say they're feeling the pinch. I am one of those, you know, younger writers, and I know that it's not sustainable for me to be a writer in Hollywood. I can't afford to live in L.A. on what I'm given. <laughs> Marchers getting support from some Hollywood heavyweights, including the directing duo of this year's best picture, Everything Everywhere All at Once, delivering fast food to picketers outside Netflix. The writers say streaming has created a booming industry for studios, but writers pay adjusted for inflation is down 23% over the last 10 years. Both sides still at an impasse. The WGA is pushing for increases in minimum pay and streaming residuals, as well as enhanced contributions to the health and pension plans. Since the studios and companies started uh, airing all of their shows on streaming, yeah. they found loopholes in which to cut writers out of the writing process and pay us less and diminish our presence. Yeah. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers said Monday they offered generous increases in compensation and sigils, but there's been no update since. The financial implications of the labor dispute are being felt beyond the entertainment industry. Local dry cleaning and catering businesses are taking hits. We are almost 70% uh, down in our incomes because uh, all we're serving to Warner Brothers, Disney's, and all the studios, actually. And now that late-night talk shows have gone dark, NBC and host Jimmy Fallon announced to their staff they would be extending staff pay to a third week. This after facing criticism from within. Putting pressure to power, uh, collective action, and solidarity in general, it, it gets the goods. And picketers were out here for just half the day today. They will be back here tomorrow for day three from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So there's still no end in sight. That's the latest here in Hollywood. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. All right, Carlos, thank you.